Shalom, Mr. Brother Zoriah, back once more with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatham, to the hopeful elect. So I just want to jump into these two articles real quick. I'm not going to make this long, but as we've been bringing it out, these devils, they, they, they're continuing to ramp up the pressure. Each and every month, each and every week, they bringing in new measures. They're, they're, you know, bringing on more censorship and demonizing those that speak against the truth. Now, you got people outside of this this truth that's speaking the truth. You know, you have uh, what they call in the world truthers. You know what I'm saying? People that just bring out certain things about the elites and the agenda and what's going on with you know, the, these politicians and the wars, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you have people like that. But they're not breaking it down, filtering it through the scriptures. That's where we come in, the prophets, the, the, the men of the Lord, you know. But this devil, of course, Esau, Edom, he has a problem with that because his whole foundation was set up upon lies. So his kryptonite is the truth. So now that the truth is coming out in these last days, he has to come with a countermeasure. He has to come with, uh, uh, you know, more psyops, more enchantments. Why do you think all these children are going missing all across the United States? Because this man got to perform more sacrifices unto Satan. All right. So we're in some perilous times right now. And as it says in Amos 8 and 11, there's going to come a time where there's going to be the you know famine of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because the men that, that the Lord has set up in these last days, it's gonna come a time we're not gonna be prophesying no more. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna be giving out this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's gonna be dry, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be equivalent to a, a desert, you see. People gonna be looking for the truth, but they they're not gonna find it. Because while it was here, people abused it. Or they just put it off like they had forever to get themselves right, not even realizing how close that we are unto the end. And this devil, he's coming down with some heavy handed measures, man. And people think that it's a game, but nah, you about to see later on this year going into 2024 it's it's going to be completely different. You know what I'm saying? They about to bring all kind of stuff back. But let's check out a little bit of this video. And like I said, I have another article we'll, we'll get into real quick and we'll get out of here. So let's check it out. The United Nations has declared war on conspiracy theories, describing the rise of conspiracy thinking as worrying and dangerous, while stating that conspiracy theories about Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum must be scrubbed from the internet and the perpetrators behind the conspiracies must be silenced. The UN also warns that George Soros, the Rothschilds and the State of Israel must not be linked to what the globalists refer to as alleged conspiracies. And see what this is what this is going to lead to because they're already heavily censoring the internet they're already heavily censoring youtube shadow banning eventually what what they're going to do is they they just going to have to shut down the internet because they can't police the whole internet like it, it's too much information coming out so what they're going to have to do like how they've been talking about these blackouts joe biden talking about a dark winter which we'll see what, what that gets into although we we already have an idea prophetically you know what i'm saying but we know that the devil he's about to come down with great wrath because he has to silence those that speak the truth he don't want the truth to get out he wants you to continue to exist upon lies upon folly this is why when you go on youtube if you're into certain things on youtube like watching food reviews and you into you know boxing or you know nba nfl that's all that you're going to see on, on your timeline. But you, like, the real truth, the, the, you know, like, the reality of what's going on out here, you, you really have to search for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not going to pop up on your algorithm. You, you, you really have to search for that kind of stuff. So Esau, he wants you to be bogged down with so much folly. Basically, he wants to keep you in the matrix. All right? He doesn't want you to take the red pill and wake up and be like, oh, shit. What's going on? Like, you start asking questions. Nah, they don't want you to ask no questions. They want you to be a good little sheep 
and just eat your grass and go to sleep and just be a slave to the system forever. That's that's what they want. So, yeah, they get, you know, Esau, they about to silence people. I just brought out an article a few days ago that said that they, they setting up camps, you know. They're actually setting up camps to put people in that refuse to close their mouths. All right, so this is what's coming down. This is what the wicked are about to put into place. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So we know who the wicked is, which is the so-called white man. Otherwise known, his biblical nationality is Esau Edom. So we know what this devil is is up to. We know that he right now is... um putting these measures in place is a desperate last ditch attempt to gain back the birthright. But, he, but he, you see, he's going to fail miserably. Understand? But he's still going to try nonetheless because the most high has it on his spirit to do what he's doing. But yes, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Let's continue. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the People's Voice Locals community for exclusive and uncensored content. The link is below this video. We have long been warning that the World Economic Forum and the globalist elite are reanimated Nazis who have rebranded and regrouped and are now pursuing the same goals as the Third Reich and committing the same crimes against humanity. Klaus Schwab's father was a high-ranking Nazi official, as were multiple members of European Commission President Ursula van der Leyen's family. And don't forget, George Soros is a literal Nazi collaborator. The global elite are now so arrogant they're not even trying to hide their tracks anymore. Klaus Schwab is on the record boasting about infiltrating the Canadian government. He wasn't joking. This week, the WF puppets in the Canadian Parliament took their masks off and gave a standing ovation to a confirmed Nazi SS soldier. Meanwhile, in the UK... So they give a salute to a, to a Nazi soldier in plain sight. And, you know, this is not something because according to you know, basically the narrative after the war was that the Nazis was demons, which they was demons. But if they demons, why are you up there saluting them? But as you just saw, they're, they're all plugged in together, man. All right. All of them are plugged in together. Because all of them are Edomites. They just use the, the right and the left paradigm to, to, you know, really all of this is a theater of war. See, this is the way that the Most High set it up. So even within Esau's um, hierarchy, you have some that will be used for uh, psyops and some that will be used just, just, just to be straight up demonized. You know what I'm saying? People actually set up in Esau's government to be demonized. Joe Biden, prime example. But check this out. UK government order police to begin arresting citizens who get fact check online. So this devil ain't playing. They about to come knocking on your door, busting your door open because you speaking the truth. So we live in a day and time where the truth, speaking the truth is a criminal act. The state has ordered the police to begin arresting citizens who get fact-checked on social media for the crime of spreading so-called conspiracy theories about the globalist elite. Never mind the fact that fact-checkers are mostly untrained and unqualified hacks performing so-called fact-checks from the comfort of their bedroom in between posting far-left political content on personal blogs and getting high. Make no mistake, Klaus Schwab's order to world governments to accelerate Agenda 2030 and crack down on conspiracy theorists is being taken seriously in WF infiltrated countries. During a UN meeting in New York City last week, Secretary General Antonio Guterres admitted that Agenda 2030 is under threat because the people of the world are rejecting it in droves. In other words, we are winning. The new world order is failing and the global elites are in a panic. So it's no surprise the UN is rolling out its most coercive plan to date to control the thoughts of humanity and punish anybody who stands in their way. After this quick break, we will expose the UN and WF's plans to criminalize so-called conspiracy theories and lobotomize the global population. <clears throat> so free speech is not free. You see, free speech is really an illusion. There is no free speech. 
there is no free speech because really when you go back into it, you know what I'm saying, like um there was a time when you could openly speak uh you know, harsh words, you know what I'm saying, against uh, people that were moles, right? You, you know what I'm saying? You could drop the F-bomb on a mole and all kind of other stuff, right? Now, you can't do that. Now, that's considered uh, a hate crime. So, so they, they've they been, you know, working on this, uh, trying to eradicate freedom of speech, but it's been happening for a long time. We're just to the point now where They've gained so much control and so much power over what people say that, you know, basically now they can lock you up for it. Now they can put you behind bars because you're not agreeing with our narrative. You see that? And this is all of, of you know, Esau, man. Okay, this is all of the left hand. You see? So, yeah, we know who the devil is. Uh, We know who the wicked is and because there's only one group of people that are pushing these uh unrighteous decrees man all right it's not the the you know so-called china man it's not uh the arab okay e even though they're all confederate but at, at the end of the day who's pushing these things worldwide we 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 already read in job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked so, yeah, you have other nations that are confederate with Esau to implement this NWO. But at the end of the day, who has the power? It's E. You see? Let's go here. Because this is this is wild, man. You know, this is what Esau's on. <laughs> so even if you refuse to take the, the Capri Sun, it's going to be, up, you know, up in your food. And this is... uh being passed on by the USDA, the U.S. Drug and uh, uh, Administration. I believe that's what it stands for. But they literally putting drugs into your food, man, which which this is nothing new. You know, we already know that, um, you know, we eat our bread defiled amongst the Gentiles. And that was prophesied. This is Ezekiel 4 and 13. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. So the Lord said that we would eat our bread defiled. Okay. That we would not eat a uh, clean food amongst the Gentiles. Cause now what, what they say U S food supply will soon be contaminated with M R N A Capri sun tainted meat. Beware the source of your beef, pork and seafood. All right, now we ain't, we ain't dealing with that uh swine and you know seafood, you know fish with fins and scales, but you know nonetheless, all of this meat and, and you know food is 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 uh, defiled, man. All right, and this is being brought on by who? The wicked. So you should be seeing how diabolical that the so-called white man is, because listen. When you consider all of the problems that, that, that the earth has, it all goes back to one source. It doesn't matter what you want to talk about. Uh, ocean pollution, uh, air pollution, GMOs in the food, um, you know, people having cancer and diabetes and, you know, people not believing in a higher power. Who does that all go back to? Really, when you get down to the grassroots of it, who, who, who do all these problems go back to, man? You know, mass animal extinction. You know, thousands of, of, of you know fish is dropping dead within the water, man. PCBs up in up in people's drinking. Like, where where does all this go back to? Well, it goes back to the source. And who is the source of that wickedness? It is the wicked. <laughs> you see, which is the so-called white man. Is is it's Esau. You see, he is the one that is putting an mRNA. Capri Sun into your meat. So now, when you go to the market, hey, now, now you gotta look at the meat with a damn side eye now because, you, you, hey, you don't know what's up in there. And see, this this, this is why we have to continuously uh, pray and petition to Yahweh Bashan to to get us up out of here because 
as the scriptures say in Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, you know, the the uh, hopefully elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, we're praying for the Most High to shorten these days, man, so that we can get up out of here. Because what kind of world can you live in where you don't even know that, that you being poisoned? I mean, like I said, we're already being poisoned, you know. Yeah, brothers can try to eat as as clean of a diet as 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 possible. But here in, 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 you know, Babylon the Great, everything is defiled. Yeah, you can say, yeah, you know, I want to eat, uh, you know, salads. Or I want to eat legumes, lentils or whatever. But the way that these crops are grown. All right. This hey, look, America is, is a toxic environment, man. You know. You can you can go to an organic market, you know, what I'm saying like Whole Foods, everything up in there is still defiled. The food that uh, the cattle are consuming, you know, GMO grains, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the uh, chicken feed, GMO. Even down to the vegetation, man, GMOs. They modify these things to grow better within the environment because really Esau abuses the earth. You, you, you know, you're supposed to use the land for a certain amount of time and then there's supposed to be a land sabbath where you let the land rest to regain its nutrients this is why esau he's so big on using fertilizer because he's stripped the land of all of its nutrients so if if you know if uh, he was to plant in and in, in, you know reap the natural way the food wouldn't even have no nutrients the ground is barely bringing forth yield for esau now because he's the devil and the earth is tired of his ass, man. See, this is why he has to go to artificial means, of, you know, going to modify, you know, the, the you know, cattle and, you know, modify the, 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 uh, the carrots and the beets and the, all, the, all this different stuff, man. This is what this man is doing. It says here, Americans will soon be able to add shrimp to the list of high risk meat products getting slipped into the increasingly toxic United States food supply, thanks to an Israeli company, Amalek. You see that? So this is E, man. Okay, this is the wicked, an Israeli company, Amalekites, the the big nose, the, the you know, the uh, small hatters, right? That just raised eight point twenty five million from a group of venture capitalists to start administering oral RNA based. Capri Sun drugs to the marine life food chain. You see that? Now shrimp, if you a jig and you eating shrimp, you you going off, all right? You going off if if you doing that. But we know that Jake love you know love to eat these things. You know Jake love crab and shrimp and, and lobster and oysters and all you know all, all these abominations, man. You know and this is another reason why. The Lord is about to break the staff of bread within Babylon the Great. You know, uh, since shrimp are bottom feeders, which means that they eat shit. OK, they 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 clean up the ocean. All right. Shrimp are the the the, the uh, you know, cockroaches of the sea. All right. Crabs are the spiders of the sea. Lobsters are just bigger cockroaches, man. They are, they're meant to clean up the ocean. That's why the Most High created them, but they are not for human consumption. They're bottom feeders. All right, everything that eats them, including humans, will end up taking, intaking these RNA chemicals through the muscle, tissue, or meat of these animals. Once Vi Aqua, as the Israeli venture capital operation calls itself, gets its RNA-based Capri Sun product into ocean life as planned, Americans and the world will have one less safe meat product to consume. According to reports, Viaqua's RNA based uh, Capri Sun, which is still in development, uses ribo RNA to manipulate the genetic profile of shrimp, essentially turning the sea creatures into living GMOs. You, you see? So this man is a mad scientist. All right, Esau has, has a God complex. 
the wicked. You see that? Let me let me let me bring this out real quick. Hold on. Give me one moment. Cause what did uh Yahweh Shah say? Yahweh Shah said in John chapter ten and verse ten, the thief, which who which who is that thief? The thief is Esau. Okay? This man is stolen everything by the force of the sword. Okay, coveted lands took them by violence. He is stolen the the uh, Israelites, okay, he has stolen our identity, our culture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So Esau, okay, the thief, the devil, the wicked cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. This is all that this man was, was, was put here to do. He was created to do this. That's why, hey, look, the the source of this is what? An Israeli company. You see that? This this, this is the source of, of this wickedness, man. And, and, you know, it's not just relegated to uh, a shrimp. You think, <laughs> listen, man, if you think that these devils are, are, are just going to stop at, at shrimp and seafood, then hey, you you out of your damn mind. All right. They've touched everything. And they just put up a measly 8.25 million. They, listen, that ain't nothing to them. These people got trillions of dollars. And you mean to tell me that they haven't infiltrated and destroyed the, the, the you know food supply already? Come on now. But yeah, they, they about to put RNAs into the food. These people got 3D printed meat being sold in, in restaurants right now. They got lab lab grown meat in restaurants. And this is normal, you see? Check it out. If nobody stops them, the globalists will gen it's like it will genetically re-engineer the entire food supply, creating a global population of GMO people, which is that, you know, that's what they want. And that's really what they've already created. When you look at the average American diet, it's what? Soda, chips, fried food. You know, all this cheese and, you know, flour and starch, very little actual uh, nutritional value in these people's diets. But this is what they push. Every time you turn on the TV, you see a commercial, uh, Papa John's, Little Caesars. And, and what's the main thing that they push? Abominations, man. Every pizza that you see got pepperoni on top. <laughs> You know, you see a, a, a 7-Eleven ad. They showing you a damn, uh, you know, 32 ounce, you know, big gulf soda and a, a cheeseburger bite hot dog. Where are the, 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 the uh, vegetables? Where Where is the nutrition in that? But see, this is why people are so sick because of this diet that they, you know, force upon you, man. And they know that most people don't have the income to eat so-called organic food or you know saying go go to a farmer's market and buy directly from the source most people most people live in these big cities they don't grow their own food they have no idea how to grow their own food so they just you know eat whatever esau gives them and and, and we're victims of that as as well of course brothers in this truth we have a higher understanding of what's going on so of course we try to you know uh, you know as a Elder Yashawamba says, eat the best of the worst. You know what I'm saying? So we understand that all this food is messed up. But, you know, we we are, you know, through having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, we understand that we have to eat the best of the worst that is available. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't out here going to McDonald's eating no one cent cheeseburgers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or so called cheeseburgers. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we, 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 ain't, we ain't getting down like that. So, it says, um, instead of using needles to inject each and every shrimp. Now, check out how wicked that these damn devils are, man. Listen, because that, that would be silly. Uh, Viaqua's mad scientists are planning to inject the RNAi poison into the food that shrimp consume. So, they're not going to inject the shrimp themselves, but they're going to inject it into the food that the shrimp would consume. And mind you, shrimp are bottom feeders, so they eat. 
uh, uh, you know, poison pretty much. So they're already eating poison, but then you're going to put more poison into the poison <laughs> that they're already eating. <laughs> this man is the devil. Hey, hey, listen, man, you know, for all you Jakes out there that, that are talking about Esau can be saved, hey, may the most high destroy you, man. Seriously. May, may the most high bring a swift and severe judgment upon you because how can't you see this man is the devil? There is no... There, there is no salvation for this kind of diabolical madness. You must be destroyed, man. And this man has control over the whole entire planet Earth to bring these things about. You mean to tell me that this man is, is, is going to be rubbing shoulders with the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven? Hey, man. I don't even know what to say at this point. Um, a, a specially coated feed supplement designed to resist... Uh, white spot syndrome i don't even know what that is or so we are told will be added to farm shrimp feed in an attempt to stymie the loss of three billion worth of shrimp every year and you wonder why the water so so damn dirty because the bottom feeders are not there to clean the water okay esau fishing out all the oysters you know what i'm saying you fishing out all the shrimp the crab and the lobster that's why the ocean is so damn dirty, man. <laughs> but, yo, <laughs> we got to get up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Because as, as the scriptures say, man, if, 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 <laughs> if it wasn't for the sake of the elect, no flesh would be saved. Proverbs 6 and 14 says, Forwardness is in his heart. He devised mischief continually. He soweth discord. And this is what this devil do. He sows mischief continually, man. This devil Esau do not sleep unless he sows mischief, unless he causes discord. You see that? This is how this man get down. So I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. Hopefully this lesson was edifying through the Rakaq Kedash. Call Halal. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rakaq And until next time, Lord willing, Shalom unto the elect.